of Omaha Human Rights and Relations Department hosted the Living the Dream competition. Six News' Brent Weber is live in the studio to tell us how Omaha students live Dr. King's dream. Brent, good evening. Good evening, Lauren. This is the fourth year of the event. Spoken word, poetry, dance, and more. Open to Metro students, seventh through twelfth grades. It has become a powerful way to give voice to Martin Luther King's dream through the words of a new generation. Like Martin Luther King Jr., I also have a dream. A dream of a world that's fair, a dream of a world that's equal, and most importantly, a dream of a world full of love. The young people have decided that we're going to speak up. It's not just about, uh, uh, you know, tennis shoes and iPads and iPhones. and They, they want to become socially conscious. I'm not just a student, I'm a woman. My educational services start to look more like my surveys doesn't have privacy. They fly every day for the means to live. All of them, all of them feel lonely, sad, angry, and hungry every day. Isn't it an amazing the amount of energy that we put into building buildings and streets and structures, but we don't want to build people? And so that's, that's the number one goal of tonight and a hope for the rest of the year is to, to not only build up the structural part of society, but the, the people side, the people side that makes it all worth living. Oh, correct Someone know what I'm talking about. We might do better. The blood and tears we collected yesterday are enough. If you are strong, fight for the weak. I'm not just white. I'm not just black, and I'm not just Hispanic. I am me. I have the same dream, Dr. King. I have that dream. I am the dream because I live the dream. Uh, the command that uh, Dr. King gave us, we're still not there yet. We, we've got more work to do. And if we're going to get there, we're going to need these young kids to help us get there. I heard I have a dream that people will see me for who I am because of my character, because I'm a black man. Why do people still make others feel less than? I know that everything I'm not made me who It's time we start abiding with what we say and follow through with our actions. As MLK said, life's more persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Thank you. The eighth grader from Nathan Hill Middle who had his anti-gang words transcribed on the screen. He was one of tonight's winners. We've got him on our website. He said, we must do better and we hear you. Cairo Gaskin and DaCosta. I'm Brent Weber, 6 News.